Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's continue our development. And now let's work on our UI as well. We already have the UI manager script. Let's open it up. And besides the button we would have in the UI manager, our text mesh pro for the level let's duplicate this for the stars and the remaining dots and let's create functions to update these values update the level text mesh which is going to simply say that level text mesh dot text equals level and here data holder dot current level same goes for the stars data holder dot stars and same goes for our remaining dots so our dots remaining are going to be a simple number and we are going to set that to two string and let's create one more function let's call it update all and this is going to call the update level text mesh update star text mesh and update dots remaining text mesh let if I will start at the top okay everything looks good and in the editor let's attach the appropriate object so level would be level text mesh star would be star text mesh and dot remaining would be dot text mesh and now so in the collision detector when we collide with a dot and we hit it it decrements the dots remaining so this is the dot hit event meaning in the ui manager in the start method we would say that event manager dot instance dot add listener and the dot hit event would update the dots remaining This is going to be object obg and if nothing is passed this would be null. Okay and where is the on destroy here? Let's take this to the top and in the on destroy we would simply say what remove listener dot hit event and this is going to remove the update dots text mesh and then in the event manager sorry not event manager in the collision detector we have the dot return and the level win event currently we have not created the level win animations or anything so let's focus on the dot miss and dot hit event for now let's go to here t let's go to our data holder currently i am making this level one so if i hit the play button this should be one this should also be one and this should be zero and nothing happened the reason for that is we need to update all of them in the start function so update all and this is going to update everything everything in the key manager a week okay looks good so if i hit play it should be one one and zero it will to compile one one and zero and if we change the level to five it should be five oh, so those remaining should be five five and this should be zero five five and zero so meaning our UI is updating correctly and 
if I collect this dot, then our remaining dot should be 4. We'll just do that and test it. Oh, it's working. Let's change it back to 1. So our UI is updating. We have the lose animation and after we lose the level, we are supposed to reset the level and currently on lose level that CE which is the dot miss event in the animation manager when we lose the event we reset the level and we reset the paddle position as well so this is working fine but one more thing is that when we reset the level we should also reset the UI but the UI would be automatically reset with the dot miss event so it would work without any issues next let's work on the level win animation private void level win animation this is going to take an object object we are going to create a new sequence level win sequence root queen dot sequence and over here we are going to say level win sequence dot append the first one is going to be that we want our text mesh to scale to zero Let's do that. There is one issue in our so here we are going to set the end value to one again because we want to take it to its original scale when the sequence is complete. So uh, we are going to append the first thing is going to say dot remaining text mesh. This is going to be same as this one. So let's just copy this. And then our lock hat would be do move y. It's going to move to 3.25f. And this is going to move in 0.5 seconds and once that is done our lock parent is going to move in the x direction to minus 6 f in 0 0.25 seconds and once all of that is done we are going to see the lock head is going to move to its original position in 0.25f and once that is done our lock parent is going to move to its original position in 0.25f and once that is done our is going to be reset to 1 and then we are going to play the sequence and once the this screen basically the doom dot doom y is complete then we are going to invoke the pattern reset event and once the whole tween is complete we are going to say level sequence dot on complete we are going to call the reset level and i think this should do it and this is going to be where is it it's 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 here so we went manager instance dot add listener this is going to be level win event 
win animation and on destroy we are going to unsubscribe from it remove lesser level win event and level win animation okay everything looks good let's go to our editor and currently our data holder is one star so basically we should be able to play the animation so so let's the direction is reverse let's fix that so this should be anti-clockwise play the log head should be at there is one issue let's fix that so scale zero the log head where is it where is it it should be a 2.5 f and our barrel should also reset and uh, once this is complete we are going to also instantly set our position so this is going to be this is going to say log parent dot transform dot position equals new vector 3 6 f 0 0 and it will then go from 6 f 6 f to 0 okay it looks good now let's put this let's see should not be two this should be one hit the play button let's test go click we won and the parallel position is kind of wrong let's test it again Yeah, the parallel position is wrong. So let's fix that. And when I move to minus 6f, is it minus or is it plus? Let me see. So if I go to my lock, if I move it here, it's minus 6. It should move to 6, then move to 0. But currently, let's see, when my lock parent moves to minus 6 then I instantly move it to 6 on finish and then I move it to x0 call its initial position is 6 now Okay, and over here, we set the scale to this. We reset the position of the paddle. Okay, let's test it another way. 
Let's change the position of the dot a bit. Let's hit play. Recent this. Yeah, so our pedal keeps moving and I hit reaches this position. So that's an issue. That means our reset event is not being triggered. And but it should be triggered. So when my Okay, let's remove this for now. And this should not be here. Now, uh, as soon as it's complete, we'll trigger this. Reach at the level. And also we need to stop our pedal from moving. So we are also going to do that. Well, this should not be two. It should be one. This is still one. Which is strong. So in our collision detector, the issue is here. Because we are raising the old wind. Event manager dot instance dot and listener the old win event on the old win. Let's remove it here. Event manager dot instance dot remove listeners level win event on level win. Let's create this and on level win we are going to stop the game. And also in the awake of our game manager. Just for testing purposes, we are going to reset the data so that I don't have to change it manually to one in the editor. Let's test it out. So this should be one one. And playing, I lose. So I play again, I win, reset, and this reset doesn't actually make this button active. And this button is set active. Let me see the UI manager. Okay, 
this button is set active on the level win as well. Level win event. This is enable start button. And we are going to remove it here. Okay. Looks good, looks good, but I want to call this better reset before well, I want to call it here and let's create a debug statement debug.log and I will win we we'll disable the start button on win enable it and my event is not called let me see why this event is not called oh okay i know why this isn't working it should be here on complete i want to to what i want to call the event manager dot instance dot trigger event new Better reset event. It should work now. So if I play, collect a dot, go and come back. Then my parallel is where? My parallel is at Y, this X6. And instead of its position, let's parallel research. No, instead of the parallel mover, parallel mover, transform dot local position. Transform dot local position. So if I do it now, it should work. Let's test it out. Okay, everything is working as intended. So we'll continue from here in the next part.